See you at HQ Rangers. Hey, cowboys. It's Dead Red talking at you again. Come back on our private channel, yeah? Heard you took out Slick Vic. Congratulations. Whole lot of innocent people would still be alive if that psycho son of a bitch had died sooner. He'd kill a man just to check if his gun was loaded. Glad he won't be around anymore to terrorize all and sundry. You know that old song, The Night Has a Thousand Eyes? Well, so does old Angie. I got an ear at every window and a finger in every pie. Now let's talk about the other one. Damn right, I mean, Val. Gipper's got him in their pocket, and if old Saul was to die and Val was to take over, those crazy Reagan worshippers would suddenly be running Colorado from behind the throne. That wouldn't be an easy thing to change after the fact, so maybe it'd be best to put poor Val out of his misery before he inherits the state, yeah? I know, it's ugly business, but from a, what do you call it, political perspective, any child of the Patriarch is a destabilizing force on the region. If you want peace in Colorado, the Buchanan brand has got to go. Thank you, cowboys. You're easing my mind. And now I better mosey. I'll be talking to you. Dead red, over and out.
Red alert! Red alert! The city of Phoenix is under attack by a rogue AI and his horde of killer robots! Are you bold enough to make the dangerous trek across the wasteland to reach the city? Can you discover the AI's secret weakness and defeat the robots? If you crave adventure, the Colorado Springs Gaming Club wants you! We play Robots and Rangers every Tuesday night, and we're looking for a few heroes to join our party! We've got the rules and the dice. All we need is your imagination. Oh, and snacks. This is Ranger Control, signing off. Command, calling Team November. Come in. Listen, I tried to put her off, but Mrs. Wong just won't stop calling about this noise. Don't you try to make it sound like it's nothing. Those kids are driving my cats and me crazy. The kids who broke into Fair and Brago's old club. They're having a dance party in there. Boom, 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 all night long. They're a public menace. Would you mind checking it out, November? She's not going to stop calling until you do. I can hear you, you know. Thanks, November. I owe you. What did they say? Are they gonna do it? They better take care of this. I'll write a letter to the paper! <laughs> Looks like we ain't dying here after all. Don't jinx it. We ain't home yet. A lot less fighting and injuries now that the... What do you need, Rangers? That's what you pay me for. Have a seat. Rangers, it's good to see you again. Uh, what can I do? What? Yes? Uh, well, looks like you don't have any pink goo with you. We can't start without that. Thank you, Rangers. You saved my life. Anyone object to me taking this little doohickey home? It's broke, but I think I could dig her with it. Wouldn't be the first time you took home a piece of trash. Hey, you leave my personal life out of this! Rangers. Rangers! A moment of your time. Rangers. These ladies remind me of my mama back home. My name's Betsy. If you don't mind, we've got a request for you. Me and the girls here. We got family who were arrested a while back and put to hard labor at the Patriarch's work camp. Thing is, we've no clue where it is. And the marshals won't say a lick on the subject. Nah, most of them deserve what they got. We don't have any issue with that. But knowing where they are, oh, well. That'd help us sleep better at night. Figure out where they're holding our loved ones. That's all we're asking you for. And we'll damn well pay you for the privilege. Thanks. I wish we had more for you to work with, but... The only thing we got is a name. Frank Pappas was a marshal in charge of shipping folks to the work camp. All we know is that he's retired and living somewhere downtown. Someone at the Marshall Station might know something. They won't tell us anything. But you might be luckier. We'll be waiting. Chickens are weird. 
It's great to be here, Rangers. I love what you've done with the place. Now, what can I do for you? Wonderfully, thank you for asking. Your staff is so accommodating. That's what I'm here for. How can I help? Sadly, I don't think a peaceful transition is possible anymore, Rangers. It's unfortunate you had to house the refugees in your brig. Now, what can I do for you? That's what I'm here for. How can I help? Why would you want to? The man is a thug and corrupter and should have no place in this city. They are fools. But unfortunately, because they own Colorado's only oil fields, we have to suffer with them. They worship a dead president as a god and walk around talking and acting like they were cowboys out of a child's picture book of the Old West. Ridiculous people. Saul should have dealt with them years ago. Certainly. That's what I'm here for. How can I help? That's impossible now. What with you killing victory? But you might still be able to salvage your deal with Saul. Just don't expect him to do more than honor the letter of your deal. As far as he's concerned, you've already broken it. And thus, he owes you no courtesy. You mean a transfer of power to you? The storming the palace and fighting the marshals. Confronting old Saul in his throne room, because that is what it would come to. Hmm. I suppose it might be possible to give Colorado the future I've been dreaming for her in that scenario, but it wouldn't be certain. It wouldn't even be likely, so... So, I'm afraid I'd have to say no. I would not support you. Thus, if you want me to remain here and to continue giving you advice, I would advise you not to tell me if that is the course you are intending to follow. Sadly, I don't think a peaceful transition is possible anymore, Rangers. Welcome to your communications hub, Rangers. The Patriarch was good enough to let me use my own gear, and I have my high-frequency radio equipment. From here on out, I will be your voice in the wind. You can contact Ranger HQ at any time through your radio, and I'll reach out as needed. When there's a rest to be made under your authority, just radio them into me. Pleasure to serve. Speaking frankly, great. Protect and serve, right? Things had grown stale with the Marshals. Felt like I'd reached the end of what I could do for the people there. Anytime. Look out there. Come in, Team November. This is HQ. We finally got a signal through to Arizona. 
It's a bit spotty, but we got word from General Wade Woodson. He'd like to speak with you. Thanks, November. It's amazing what you can do with a bit of tape and a lot of ingenuity. See you soon. Over and out. You read the last issue of the Colorado Patriot? Oh, real funny cartoon in there. Rangers uncover human smuggling conspiracy! Subversive leader arrested! Maybe I'll join the marshals. I do like to fuck the people up. Hey, did you ask your wife about your concerns about her? I don't want to talk. People. What are they doing here? What do you want, lamos? <laughs> right. You're not the marshals. We don't have to listen to you. Why don't you go play games with the nerds upstairs? They're pretending to be lawmen, too. Don't try that nice guy stuff with us. We're smarter than that. Get lost. Uh, hi. Who are... Oh my god! Yeah, you're rangers! Real life, actual rangers! Do you want to play robots and rangers with us? We'd be honored. Oh yes! Absolutely yes! <laughs> we'll see you there the next time we play. Maybe they'll go away. Oh, God! What's happening? My soul is dying! This is the worst music ever! I want to die! Make it stop! What the hell happened to me? Hey, did you know I have a sixth sense? Really? Yeah, I see old people. What? What the hell, Rangers? Dick move, dicks. Now what are we gonna do? God, you guys suck. You are totally harsh in the party. Why don't you just leave us alone? Okay, okay, we're going. You Phoebes are the worst. The noise stopped. Thank you, Rangers. I can sleep at last. And so can my cats. Here, a little something for your trouble. Since I'm sure that tight fist, the Patriarch, isn't paying you much. I'm gonna send a special surprise to your clubhouse or headquarters or whatever you call it. Nah, nah, I'm not saying what it is, but you'll love it, I promise. Now go on, I'm a busy woman. Come on, kitties. The noise is over. You can come out now.
This looks official. What do you want? How would I know anything about that? I just drove them out there and dropped them off. That camp is a state secret. Patriarch's orders. And I never knew the warden's name. You want any of that stuff? Talk to the marshals. I, yeah, well, that's real sad, but no. Sorry. Daisy hears everything in this town. I like life too much. Ha! <laughs> you really ain't from around here, are you? That ice-hearted bitch would have my head. You'd hire a broken down old sack of shit like me. For real. Wow. That's more than I expected. Really? This guy? Really? Okay, Rangers. You got a deal. I'll get my stuff together. But first, I'll tell you what you want to know. I was told to drive the prisoners to this cave northeast of the city and give them to some tattooed plains motherfucker. Didn't seem the type to be an overseer. And it didn't look like a great place for a work camp. But I don't ask questions, you know? I just do what I'm told. Here, I'll mark the spot on your map. That's all I can do for you, I swear. I'll see you at your HQ, Rangers. Just gotta pack up. And thanks again. How does a place like this still exist? At least Vic Buchanan can't bring any more shame on his father. I heard Mr. Howe found himself a pretty blonde thing. Really? And what did his wife Our saviors, Hardy. Our miracle workers are back. Please, take this donation, Rangers. I'd say it isn't much, but that'd be a lie. Well, hun, it's like this. We believe there have been two deluges so far. The deluge of water sent by God, and the deluge of fire sent by man. Each time the wicked were purged, and the righteous, like you and me, were saved. Now, the final deluge. Well, no one knows much about that. 
though everyone has their theories, but we believe that a strong leader, that's the patriarch, can take us through it unharmed. And he's already off to such a grand start. He found you, and you saved Hardy. No, you've already done more than we can repay. May the good Lord keep you safe. I got back. You're always in our prayers, Rangers. What brings you back? May the good Lord keep you safe. It's so nice here. Your presence has not been requested. You may not pass. The master is expecting you. Please enter the room for. Rangers, so good to see you. Thank you again for saving my life. I knew the security system needed more security checks, and fewer show tunes. Blast. You are the Rangers, correct? I expected our paths to cross eventually. Let me express my gratitude for saving both my brother Eston and my son Bellamy. I thought I'd never see them again. But you brought both of them home. This is a token of my thanks. May I help you with something? As you can see, the gas isn't the only way Eston was irrevocably harmed. I'm told his physical injuries have almost completely healed. The best people I know are working diligently to help. Sadly, we don't know how or when he'll ever come back to us. Thank you for your concern. Hey, wonderful news. Please accept this small token of my gratitude. At this point, you probably know more than I do. Their names are Valor, Victory, and Liberty. They are Saul Buchanan's children. He loves them as only a father can. I understand that, love. That's all I should say. Please, ask me about anything else. Most of my time is spent researching and developing technology. In time, I believe we can restore our standard of living to that of the legendary pre-war days in the 1980s. Eh, who knows? Someday we may even exceed it. Bye, Rangers. Welcome back, Rangers!
these were his wives? I wonder how they felt about it. They sure are pretty. Wishful thinking. I'm thinking. Any news of my children yet, Rangers? Tell me. Dealt with? How? Dead! Rangers, I told you to bring him home alive. If I'd wanted him dead, I would have done it myself. How did he die? That does sound like him, but you let it happen. No excuses, Rangers, I've heard enough. I hired the Desert Rangers because you destroyed the base Cochise AI, because you brought down Finster, because you do the impossible everywhere you go. But saving my son, one single half idiot boy was too hard. Keeping him alive was beyond your legendary capabilities. If I had any other option, I would send you back to Arizona in pieces. Unfortunately, the job must still be done and there is no one else to do it. But if you harm any more of my children, there will be hell to pay, Rangers. Understand me? Hell. Now, anything else before I throw you out? Talk then. Huh. That rumor just keeps coming back, year after year. I have no need for secret prisons, Rangers. All prisoners in Colorado stay in ordinary jails. And if your baseless suspicions lead you to go snooping around this lovely neighborhood, bothering my finest citizens, I'll put you in one. Understood? Can you blame me? If she wasn't as bloody-handed as she is brave, I'd have already passed the throne to her. Unfortunately, she has no interest in governing, only ruling.
Why? Are you getting ideas? I've got years left to make that decision, Rangers. And I'm certainly not going to make it while all this is going on. Fine. Tell me. What of it? You got a lot of balls saying that to me. I loved my wives. Most of them. It's just, well, you can be married to a woman or a nation, but not both. That was a lesson too long in the learning. But I think I finally got it through my head. I won't remarry. Of course, there's one woman who loves Colorado like I do. But she turned me down years ago. None of your damn business. Are we done here? Before you go, where the hell were you when that Arapaho caravan was wiped out? The power armor they were carrying would have been a great help to my marshals. Now it's in the hands of the Scar Collectors. When I give you an order, Rangers, I expect you to obey it. That's our deal. Now get going, and come back with results. Nice to see you, Rangers. I suppose they'll let just anyone in these days. <laughs> I don't believe we were having a conversation. I'd certainly remember that odor. How did you get that? I... I see. You have me at a disadvantage. I knew this day might come, but I didn't think it would be at the hand of strangers. Hand over those documents. In return, I'll use my considerable influence to ensure you are well known and fondly thought of among respectable sorts of people. My people. Good. I'm glad we have an understanding. I'll let everyone know about the fair and honorable rangers. Word travels fast in my circles.
All right, listen up. Ranger HQ. Thanks for taking me on, Rangers. Good to be back in the saddle. Now listen, I may be past my prime, but I still know a thing or two about keeping your troops happy and focused. Five simple things. Ready? One, keep them fed. Two, keep them busy. Three, always give them a goal. Four, give them snazzy uniforms that'll get them laid. And five, let them blow off steam from time to time. Even if that means looking the other way when they break the law. That's it. That's the secret recipe. Thank you again for everything you've done for me. Stay sharp. Rangers, what can I do for you? Happy to. Take a look. Don't see us sleeping right. under bridges, do you? What's wrong with them? Why can't they go back where they came from? Goddamn freeloaders is what they are.